In this video, let's add two more MongoDB instances to our Docker Swarm cluster. And we will be typing all our commands on this left side terminal. And uh, this terminal is the terminal of your Docker Swarm uh, manager node because you will be deploying the services as stack and those commands can only be issued on the manager node. So let's first still run docker node list to make sure we are on the manager node. As you can see, uh, we are on this manager node right here. And let's clear the screen and open up the file we used to deploy the, the service. And uh, since we are going to add two more uh, MongoDB instance, let's just copy the declaration we had in, from the last video and paste it down here twice. Let's make some changes to the second service and let's name it Mongo number two and let's publish this services at port 27018 because um, multiple service can't be published at the same port. And let's also rename the volumes to Mongo data to and Mongo config to. Uh, this change is actually not necessary, but uh, especially if if you are deploying the service onto different hosts, and the volumes will be created uh, on different hosts, and also will be prefixed by the stack name, so there won't be any uh, conflict. But uh, we are doing this only for readability. And uh, let's also change the deploy uh, settings. Uh, the most important thing here is to change the placement constraints because we want uh, since we are creating a Docker, uh, creating a Mongo replica set, what we want to do is uh, to actually separate the service uh, onto different hosts. We want uh, three Mongo instances running on three different hosts. So, uh, so that one host fails, we still have two hosts running and our data is safe. And uh, uh, to, to be able to achieve that, uh, we, we want to limit the uh, deployment of this service to the node that has a label called Mongo replica and the value is number two. Okay, let's make the uh, same changes to the, uh, the third service as well. And let's change it to Mongo number three and publish the port to 27019. And let's rename the volumes. Also, we want to constrain uh, to change the con placement constraint as well. Let's do it. Let's make sure it will be deployed to a host that has a label uh, called Mongo replica and its value is three. And uh, we also need to make this same change to our first service. And we only need to change the value to one. And since we are using uh, two, uh, four more uh, volumes, mm -hmm. let's name uh, declare those volumes here as well. Let's just change the numbers. Two, two, and three, and three. Okay, so this compose file, when you deploy it, it will create three different Mongo instances on different three different hosts that has those labels, and uh, the volumes will be created on those uh, Docker Swarm nodes that has uh, the corresponding labels. So what, what we do to deploy the service is to, uh, oh, actually we need to uh, add those labels to, uh, to our Docker Swarm node. Let's, uh, so you can do this by typing, by using a Docker node update command. So let's do, let's first list our node again. This is all the uh, Docker Swarm nodes we have. And let's first add a, no, a, a label to the fir, uh, to, to the manager node. Uh, let's add it as as 
Mongo dot replica and the value is number one. Oh, we, we need to specify the ID if, uh, uh, of the Docker Swarm node. And let's do this to the second, uh, wor uh, the first worker node, which ID is NZ0 and the label's value is 2. And let's do it to the third node and the value is number 3. All right, let's let's make sure those labels are actually uh, have ever, actually been added. Let's do this. Let's check this by uh, Docker node inspect. Let's inspect the uh, second worker node. So if if we scroll up here, we we can see that under spec there is uh, labels. Uh, uh, there is a label section that we have Mongo replica uh, equals to three. And uh, after we uh, added the labels, now we can deploy the service by using Docker stack deploy. Uh, and let's use the uh, Docker compose file we just uh, made changes to. And let's also still keep using the same stack name. So as you can see, the first service we created in the last video was updated while the other two services are created. Let's check if the service are actually running. All right, here we, we can see the de desired state uh, of replica is one replica and uh, the current state is one as well. That means all the services are already up and running and as we uh, demonstrated in the uh, second video, uh, in the last video, that uh, you can basically access uh, any of these Mongo services at the specified, at the published port on every Docker Swarm node 